CMR-316 is a small molecule drug. It is directly delivered to the lung through nebulization, and it acts there to promote regeneration of the lower airway, so the lining of the, the bottom of your lung where gas is exchanged. Now, we developed that drug as a way to address idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or IPF. Idiopathic means we don't know what causes it. Pulmonary means lungs, and fibrosis is scarring. So it's a chronic disease that causes progressive scarring of the lungs, and that has tremendous consequences on people's quality of life and survival. There are many cancers that have better long-term survival than IPF. It's not rare. Sadly, individuals that get a diagnosis of IPF will have a life expectancy of about five years, some faster than others. So this was kind of one of the first ideas that I had when I started my own lab, was the idea to try and repair the lower airway. It really wasn't until about a decade ago that we got a glimpse about how you might be able to promote expansion of the stem cells of the lung. So we were actually quite collaborative with Caliber from the beginning. We used their comprehensive drug repurposing library reframe as a way of addressing, you know, is there some repurposed drug that will make the stem cell population grow? We followed up on that in my own lab, and then once we had some initial proof of concept efficacy studies, we really highly prioritized this. There are many ind additional indications for using CMR316. These include other lung diseases that are associated with scarring, and the best known are a, a group that are referred to as ILDs, or interstitial lung diseases. Beyond that, you can imagine that emphysema, which is the loss of lung tissue in COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, that might be an area where you could see some regeneration and improved function. What really surprised us was how efficacious this agent was in all of the different preclinical models that we ran. But what was really interesting and surprising to me was that we observed efficacy in all of those cases, and that led us to believe that we were tapping into something central about how the mammalian lung repairs itself. But what about the kidney? What about the retina? There's many other things that I think we can work on, and I'm excited to hopefully bring those forward to the clinic.